Hello Commanders! Today I'd like to share some tips on acquiring Targoid commodities that are not exclusive to combat. I'll start with some general notes, but then I'll move on to the hardest one to acquire, Targoid Probe. It is important to know that everything that has Targoid in name is corrosive. It will eat your ship from the inside. This manifests as periodic damage to your internal modules. The game selects a module at random, so it's better to have a lot of modules, and applies damage to it. The more cargo you have, the more dangerous it is. In this case I had 6 units and it almost ate through my canopy. Be advised that module reinforcement will not actually work on this kind of damage, and the only way to mitigate the damage is to repair it with an AFMU. There is, however, a way to prevent the damage using corrosion resistant cargo base. You can obtain corrosion resistant cargo base in the ARC system and the Shenvi system, in the home bases of the engineers Dr. Palin and Chloe Seresi, respectively. I don't think you need to unlock those engineers in order to buy the cargo racks, but I can verify that. They sell only size 1 cargo racks, which can hold 1 or 2 items. There is also a size 4 cargo rack that can hold 16 items. This one has to be unlocked from a human technology broker and then bought in outfitting in a station with human technology broker. The other thing that is good to know is that these are commodities, so they can be sold and bought from player-owned fleet carriers. You can search on websites like Inara to find uh, the best fleet carrier to buy anything you want. So as of shooting of this video, Targoid Probe is not stocked in any of them. They do buy, they don't sell. Now let's discuss Targoid Probe, the main reason why people watch this video I guess. When you ask about Targoid Probe, most people will direct you to non-human signal sources threat level 5 to 7. And it does work, but I don't think it's the best option out there. Non-human signal sources are basically Targoid signal sources, and there used to be a threat level 2 signal source which spawned around Ammonia worlds and that one used to have a uh, like, very high chance of spawning Targoid Probe, if not 100%. This signal source is gone now, it doesn't spawn anymore as far as I can tell. The problem with threat level 5 to 7 is that it only has a small chance of spawning a Targoid Probe. You can literally spend half an hour checking these signal sources and uh, leave empty handed. It's also an activity that you should only do in a Targoid rated ship, because you will run into interceptors and scouts, and the scouts will open fire immediately at you. Interceptors will become hostile only if you provoke them or if you have Targoid or Guardian stuff in your cargo bay. Another complication of these non-human signal sources is that they tend to spawn far away from each other, even if the system is completely empty. I tried a system that is basically a star and some uh, asteroids around it, and it still spawned the signals like 4000 light uh, seconds away. The strategy I recommend is farming cargo base of Targoid attacked science ships. There is one such ship right in the Maya system, so it's quite convenient. I don't know if this works with other mega ship types, but science ships happen to have four cargo bays on the same side of the ship, so it's very easy to scan them all. The actual steps are a little bit convoluted. It doesn't work uh, in the same straightforward fashion as uh, it works with normal ships because you have to first scan the megaship itself, only then you are able to target the sub-targets like cargo base. But you still can't just uh, launch a hatchbreaker limp at the, at the cargo bay. You have to scan the cargo bay itself and then that reveals the sub-modules of the cargo bay. And uh, there is like a limpet docking port that you can actually send your hatchbreaker limpet at and that will liberate the cargo. But I have found this is not the most efficient way because uh, cargo bays uh, often have more than uh, one hatchbreak worth of cargo. So you will have to send multiple hatchbreak limpets in order to make sure there is no probe inside the cargo. So what I actually do is I use the cargo manifest scanner 
with the stock manifest scanner it takes a little bit more time of course you could have engineered it and then it will be actually faster than the data link scanner but even with a stock scanner it takes less than two minutes to check all four cargo bays so it's not that bad and when you are done with all four cargo bays you just relock to reset the instance and you can repeat now if i didn't make any mistake uh, in documenting my attempts i have scanned 52 sets of cargo bays so 52 times four cargo bays and i have found 11 targoid probes and 16 targoid sensors it does drop sensors as well uh, out of that one probe and three sensors were unfortunately bugged that means when uh, I liberated them from the cargo bay, uh, the probe or sensor did manifest itself physically and, and I could target it, but it didn't actually leave the cargo bay, it stayed clipped in there and I was not able to pick it up. So that does still uh, happen, unfortunately. So factoring that in, I expect to find a targoid probe in every 5.2 cargo bay sets. And uh, that should take like 10 minutes, so it's not too bad. Now a word of warning, you can have Targoid Interceptors or Targoid Scouts spawn uh, on the science ship. But from what I can tell, it should take more like 5 minutes for them to spawn. So if you are doing it correctly, you should be gone by then. Some commanders have mentioned that there is yet another strategy that I have not tried. Uh, they say you can get target probes from NPC ship convoys which uh, requires uh, a specific state of the background simulation. So yeah, that could work, uh, but it seems a bit more finicky and it is definitely illegal, unlike the target attacked uh, ship, mega ship strategy. The next item I will discuss is the Targoid sensor. Now, if you have to obtain Targoid probe as well, you probably are better off just uh, obtaining that Targoid probe using the Targoid attacked science ship because that will probably give you a sensor as well. But if you are looking for just sensor, there is a better way. There is a crashed ship, uh, point of interest, that uh, will spawn like three Targoid sensors every time you reload. And as you can see, you don't even need an SRV to pick them up uh, if your ship is small enough. Uh, I used my uh, Viper to pick it up uh, directly, uh, but it definitely was finicky, so maybe SRV is a good idea for this one. The next item to discuss is Meta Alloys. Uh, so this one does not have Targoid in the name, that's because it's uh, not corrosive. And I guess we didn't know it's Targoid back then, like, who knows. So meta alloys can actually be bought from Darniel's Progress station in Maya, but there's limited stock, so I believe you can get like one or two. If you need more, you might want to farm them from surface sites. So the original way to farm these was from barnacle sites. And basically these sites of uh, Targoid origin they, they spawn these spines and uh, on some of the spines there are large pods. If you shoot the spine that will liberate the pod and you can pick up pick up the pod which is which is the meta alloy. There are also spines with small pods which uh, give materials that might be interesting for you but uh, it's like low level materials so it's not too important. Now since the original introduction of barnacles, uh, players have farmed them a lot. That prompted uh, Frontier to actually make an update where some original barnacle sites have become exhausted and don't give you meta alloys anymore. So especially if you are trying to farm around Maya, you will probably have to fly a little bit farther away from Maya to find a uh, site that is not exhausted yet. You can find the locations of barnacle sites on, on, on uh, web, like on the wiki. You can also try the one that I used here in this video, but you know, it might become exhausted in the future, so you have been warned. Normal people usually use an SRV to pick these up, but I use just my Viper ship 
Cobra might work as well and just uh, scoop them directly. I have actually made a video about this technique because uh, it, it has more applications like uh, with the Guardian stuff as well. You can do some direct scooping and I find it more entertaining than fiddling around with, with an SRV. Now for direct scooping you actually might prefer a Targoid imprint. Targoid imprint is called unknown structure scan in game. Players have called it uh, Targoid Mothership and uh, it also features the uh, barnacle spines. But there are no barnacles there. There are two kinds of Targoid imprints. Uh, there are active imprints and inactive imprints. And the active imprints basically have uh, some accessible tunnels and chambers. And the important distinction is that they have less stuff outside. Specifically for meta alloys, active Targoid imprints still feature spines, but I have not found spines with meta alloys on them with the large pots. They had only the small pots with the uh, materials. So inactive imprint is preferable for harvesting meta alloys. Targoid imprints also have the advantage of never going exhausted, I hope. You can check out the one I used in this video, it should have uh, 4 meta alloys. The next item I will discuss is Targoid canisters, it's actually a class of items. This is uh, how I classify Targoid resin, Targoid technology samples and Targoid biological matter, because all these three items happen to be wrapped in some sort of packaging. They, they, it appears to be some sort of a box rather than unboxed sensor or meta alloy. So yeah, that's why I call them canisters. They also don't really have many uses, unlike sensor or meta alloy. I don't think there's anybody that actually requires you to bring them any Targoid canisters, currently anyway. There used to be a mission that you would uh, obtain from Dr. Palin uh, when you docked in uh, the Obsidian Orbital in Maya. I don't think that mission is available anymore since uh, Dr. Palin had to flee the system and is now based in Ark. But uh, a community goal may appear that requires these, so it is good to know how to obtain them efficiently. And that brings us back to Targoid imprints, because that's where you can find these. If it's an active imprint, there's a lot of them inside, in the chambers. But of course that's inside, it's a pain to access, because uh, you, know, you have to drive a long way to grab them and then drive back outside to upload to your ship and, and, and repeat. Uh, I think it's better to look in the inactive imprints, because in inactive imprints they actually spawn on the outside, in, in those outside rings. Not in all parts, you have to look around and they don't show on scanners on for a ship. You have to uh, fly relatively close to actually get the target lock. But uh, I think you can scoop them even directly a little bit, but SRV might be a good idea here because they tend to fall or overall into corners and then they are hard to pick up with a ship. And now the final item, Targoid Link. Now this is uh, related to a spoiler, basically where you get the link is one big spoiler if you have not done it before. So if you want a hint without spoiling, just grab a Targoid probe and Targoid sensor and go to an active uh, Targoid imprint and magic will happen. But uh, if you don't want to get spot, close the video right now. For everyone else, basically what you have to do is you need Targoid sensor to open the door to an active imprint. It won't open if you don't have anything, it might open if you have Targoid probe. I have tested with uh, just Targoid sensor, so that's that's enough. Well, I guess that's uh, good because Targoid sensor is easier to get. So what you have to do is uh, you have to just drive to one of the side chambers. It's not in the main chamber, but one of the side chambers, and uh, the Targoid link will just pop out of the ceiling. It will be suspended, uh, 
and uh, it can be liberated just by shooting at it with your uh, SRV repeater cannon. And that's how you get a Targoid link. And once you have Targoid link, uh, probe and sensor, you can, you can solve the puzzle in the main chamber. And that's it, that's uh, all the Targoid commodities that you can get without getting involved in Targoid combat. If you need those Targoid combat uh, related commodities, well, uh, I suppose you should look up some guides from uh, the Canon Research website. They've got a lot there. So thanks for watching and uh, fly safe and if you like this video, you can hit one of those YouTube buttons that will make me happy as well. But yeah, bye!